uh, Chairwoman Lummis. Uh, thank you for holding this hearing today. Obviously, um, uh, critical to get this uh, this overview right now, and look forward to the work that we're going to be doing on this on, on the committee uh, on this issue. I want to start out with a question for uh, Mr. Siminski. Uh, e EIA pr projects uh, projections have nuclear production increasing by fifth, increasing 15 percent. Uh, by 2025, uh, and by 2040, production is still projected to be up 14 percent. Now, these projections are made despite the relatively few orders for expansions of existing nuclear plants. Uh, I know that uh, nuclear plant operators have made great improvements in the past to keep plants operating more efficiently and, uh, and producing more electricity. But I, I want to ask, um, what, what is the source of these increases in projections? Is, it, is EIA projecting that most of these plants will have their operating licenses extended and that efficiency, efficiency gains will continue? Or are these projected increases due to new production, possibly from uh, next generation technologies? Uh, thank you, uh, Congressman Lipinski. We uh, have a couple of new uh, power plants built into the projections. There are uh, several under construction right now. Uh, in addition to that, um, we uh, are assuming some uh, further efficiency gains in the industry. They call it uprating, uh, where you get more uh, power out of the individual plants. And uh, on the reason that the numbers do begin to trail off at the end of the time period is that we are assuming that there will be some retirements. Uh, but in general, I think we have built in uh, extensions of uh, licenses uh, in a number of cases for um, relicensing. Uh, the overall numbers that we have for um, the type of fuels used in generating electricity, the fastest growth that we see is in solar, uh, percentage-wise, uh, as well as wind. Uh, the biggest uh, from a standpoint of not the annual percent increases, uh, but the absolute numbers is in natural gas. And that comes back uh, more to uh, the, um, the continuing uh, strong price competition that we see between natural gas and coal. Okay. I wanted to uh, continue on a little bit on uh, nuclear technology um, and how much might be gained from additional R&D into uh, nuclear energy. I just want to um, ask uh, Mr. Sminsky, but uh, you can have additional comments here also. Do you think advanced concepts like small modular reactors and fast breeder reactors could change the conversation about nuclear to make it safer and easier to build while also helping to solve the waste issue? Or at a minimum, could it help extend the life of existing reactors with greater safety? Because what we are focused on here in this committee is, is the R&D. So what, what do you think we can get from uh, nuclear R&D? What, what and what is the future for nuclear? I would be happy to, to come back to you for the record and, and provide you with some background on the assumptions that we are making in that, that area. Uh, in general, as I said, our overall forecasts generally assume trends, trend improvement in technologies, but not, um, not major breakthroughs. Uh, we, we try not to predict uh, changes in regulation, legislation, or, you know, huge changes in technology. Uh, the role that technology has played recently has been uh, very strong. Um, in Mr. Uh, Swalwell's district, the uh, labs, Liver Lawrence Livermore and Sandia, uh, as Mr. McNally said earlier, uh, uh, these labs played a strong role in uh, providing research, uh, particularly in 3D seismic uh, technology and in horizontal drilling that was instrumental uh, in uh, the, uh, the Barnett uh, shale breakthroughs that took place back in the 1990s. Uh, interestingly, there was also a Section 29 tax credit uh, for shale gas, uh, tight gas at that time, uh, that also uh, spurred things. Uh, I, th I think that one of the uh, more interesting aspects of that tax credit is, is that it, it expired and it was allowed to expire so that we got the benefits of the R&D, a little help from a tax credit uh, that ultimately uh, was no longer necessary uh, once the uh, industry was on its feet. Well, now my time is almost up. Does anyone else have any comments on nuclear R&D? Anything? All right. Thank you very much.